All right, lads, day two of Santiago here. Today we got Chacabanas, which are these uh, yeah, Dominican white shirts that we're gonna have for the white party here. And now we're smoking a cigar. I'm having a J London here at a cafe. We got the, the, the crew here, Manny, Oswaldo, and Andres Rosabana, who we just met here, uh, that I've known through Instagram for a while. Next, we're going to Saga, which for you guys that know the cigars, uh, they have a restaurant here, which is one of the best in the city, apparently. We're gonna meet Edgar Julian Sued, who was our first ever guest on the podcast. It's gonna be awesome to meet him in real life uh, and smoke some cigars. Of course, smoke their cigars at their restaurant. It's a must and eat some more Dominican food. And then the festival kicks off this evening. So we will uh, catch you guys a bit later. Hotel that we're gonna go register now, get our welcome pack. Yeah, as well as excited. Yeah. We get some, we get some cigars, we get some accessories and stuff. Of course, you're gonna get to see it. Uh, but now the fun begins. <laughs> All right, so we got the gift as you guys just saw the gift bag as well what do you think yeah well uh, uh i think i mean actually we got what we oh. expected uh, and yeah i'm pretty i'm pretty happy about those uh, those gifts i like the forbidden i saw forbidden inside the bag so that's it for me and, uh, i like the forbidden as well but i'm looking forward to the davidoff number one yes sir that's my that's that's one for me as well all right well next is the uh the cocktail We'll catch you guys there. All right, lads, we're closing out the evening here. The lads are right here. We're closing up shop. We really are the last ones to go here. Awesome evening, amazing drinks with the open bar. They had a nice buffet and stuff. The cigars were fantastic. I mean, these were on top of the welcome pack. We got these Davidoffs and, and you could choose whatever you wanted. They had tons of packs that you could choose from to smoke. Fantastic stuff, met some awesome people. And uh, tomorrow we have a tour for the Davidoff fields. So we're gonna go out and see the production of Davidoff, which is gonna be amazing. And uh, a cigar seminar and then another dinner. So it's gonna be more stuff, but yeah. I will catch you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna be destroyed, but hyped. So I'll see you guys then. All right, morning number two here in Santiago. We had an amazing event yesterday, as you guys saw. Today, the festival really kicks off. Uh, we have the tour of the Davidoff fields. So we'll see the Davidoff production, uh, which is gonna be awesome. Get some cigars there, have some lunch. Now, of course, I'm gonna film from the from the fields. Uh, and then after there's some events that we'll get to later. Uh, but for now, just heading to the hotel to get to the buses to go out to, to Davidoff. <laughs>
Alright guys, present day Carl here to give a little more context again on what was going on. So, as you saw, we were welcomed to this breakfast with basically unlimited Davidoff cigars. We could grab as many as we wanted. The director of the production in the Dominican Republic, Hamlet Espinal, gave a speech. And then the gracious host, Pedro Pablo, who we can now call our friend here, uh, led the rest of the tour. He is the master blender for Davidoff. And we started at this farm called Finca Schneider. This is in the area called Villa Gonzales, which has a lot of production of tobacco in the Dominican Republic. And he basically showed us the tobacco that was binder, and some of this was uh, also going to be wrapper. But this was mainly binder, some of it was filler. In these lots, they had all different types of tobacco. Piloto Cubano, Olor Dominicano, they had all the main tobaccos that they used and produced in the Dominican Republic for their cigars. And this tobacco is going to end up in all their white band series and some other stuff as well. They are receiving more sun. They are allocated to protect the plants and to be part of the balance of the plant. So now the plant, again, is very smart. La planta is muy inteligente. So that was just to give you a little taste of what the tour was like. He was really going through everything in meticulous detail. As you can see here, we actually got to try to do some stuff ourselves. I got to try to harvest the tobacco plant. It was a lot easier than I thought but the leaves are incredibly oily and that was really something that struck me. Later we actually got to bring in the leaves into the curing barn and what was interesting is this was not just a gimmick activity, they actually took the leaves that we harvested, actually hung them up and put them to cure. So the leaves that I harvested are going to end up in real Davidoff cigars. You can see the curing barn, you saw a little of this in the Chateau de la Fuente as well. They do the same process where they hang from the top to bottom. So after a few hours, we left this Finca Schneider after a great and informative tour. Now the things that really struck me the most, like I mentioned, touching the tobacco leaf was incredible. It left a coat of oil, of wet oil. It was really that oily. And touching the dry leaves in the curing barn, you would think they were dead, crackling, dry leaves, but they keep the humidity really high, so they were still super pliable. <laughs> So next we were taken to another area where they have farms. This area is called Jicome. This was about another 45 minutes away from Villa Gonzales. Here they do a lot more processing. So they have farms and they do a lot of cultivation here too. But here they actually take care of the leaves that they get from the farms and they do everything they need to do before sending them to the factory. So first here we were taken to the greenhouses where they plant the little seeds and saplings. We were welcomed with fresh coconut water, very nice. And here we got to see the process of them taking the seeds, planting the seeds to make the first initial little small leaves, and then also transporting those small first initial leaves into other lots. You can see here the process being done, and some of these look like trays of salad. It was quite cool to see the tobacco plant in its early stages. There you got to see the tobacco flower. That's where they actually get the seed pods, and all the seeds come from that flower that you pluck. Now here is a process that I did not know was so extremely meticulous and so labor inducive. The actual process of planting the seeds in the trays was a long hard process that I did not know was this hard. They have to first take the seeds out of the plant, then they mix those seeds with ash in a cup and the reason that they need ash as you'll see is that they need to be able to mark where they've put seeds otherwise the seeds camouflage with the soil and you can't really see where you've put seeds. Then you need to by hand spread the seeds all over that tray and cover the entirety of it to try to get an even placement of the seeds. A long process, it's not just sort of sprinkling seeds over soil and calling it a day, a lot of labor. Every single step, it's incredible to see how much time and effort these cigars go through before reaching us. This was a super cool part to see. This is their sort of lab, as he called it, their experimental side. This room is all just different tobacco flowers where they cross pollinate. So here is where, I, where Davidoff make their famous hybrids. If you smoke Davidoff cigars, you know they have tons of hybrid seeds with just numbers. Here is a guy cross pollinating, so he's actually mixing two to create a new seed. On this lot, they also plant the new seeds they created to see how they actually grow in real life. The next rooms were the processing rooms where they get tobacco. Here are tons and tons of bales of massive, massive amounts of tobacco. 
Some of this tobacco comes from all over the world. This is Ecuadorian. This is Ecuadorian Habano, actually. And it's beautiful. It's all here in the piles, still fermenting. The internal piles of these were extremely hot, 100 degrees Fahrenheit, they said. We got to play with the tobacco a little bit. Here you can see how extremely pliable and elastic it is. Now, this was a super interesting demonstration. Pedro Pablo basically showed us how they test tobacco when it comes in to see if it's ready or not. So what he did here was he took a Davidoff cigar, a regular production one, I think it was a Nicaragua, and he basically ripped off the wrapper leaf of it, so it was just binder and filler left. He then took one of the random pieces of wrapper from the pile and proceeded to roll that cigar on. So here you see him ripping off the old wrapper. A lot of people were very sad to see that happen. They thought he was kind of ruining a good Davidoff cigar, but he was in actuality making his own new one to test if that wrapper was ready to smoke or not. Now he didn't actually smoke it there. This was just sort of a demonstration to show how they actually test out their tobacco during the process all the time. He compared the process of that of a chef. So he basically said that if you're cooking something, you have to try it throughout the process because if you don't, then you're not really gonna be sure how the end result is. And it was the same with the tobacco here. So some of this stuff is very aged, but they don't know if it's aged to perfection. And they said this is part of the Davidoff difference, right? The extreme quality control that they take. And it's cool to see it up close because it really is meticulous. <laughs> This part here was quite a mind-blowing one. This room felt like it stretched forever. I never really saw the end of it on the other side. This is a massive aging room where they keep bales of old tobacco. And as you can see, some of the stuff kept here is quite old. This is a batch from 2012, so 11 years old. <laughs> Again, you hear the whole 200 pairs of hands have touched your cigars before you receive them. But seeing it up close, the massive production that they have was quite, quite incredible. So that was the end of the tour. After this, we were greeted to a beautiful lunch and enjoyed some cigars. <laughs> All right, so that is the end of the Davidoff tour. Uh, as you saw, amazing hospitality here for the lunch. Got a little Winston Churchill, along with a lot of other cigars. There's a little gift bag that we're gonna see later, I think. And now I'm just enjoying this cigar, a rum, a little coffee, and uh, chatting with the lads.